Steve Austin is back, which means another boom period for one of the worst chants in the history of this business. Pro Wrestling Bits. Subscribe now. If WWE could go back in time and change anything, it wouldn't be a reimagining of the Montreal Screwjob where Vince McMahon honors his word and allows Bret Hart to leave WWE gracefully in his home country. It wouldn't be May of 2016 where WWE keeps Cody Rhodes under contract, possibly preventing the creation of AEW. They wouldn't go back and convince Chris Jericho to stay in 2017 for those same reasons. If WWE could go back in time and change anything, it would be August 13th, 2001 where they travel back in time to take a red sharpie and cross one word off Stone Cold Steve Austin's promo that night. What? For absolutely no reason. He starts pausing in the middle of a sentence and starts saying what? Randomly. And this is it. This is the beginning of the end for the logic of fans. Oh my God. Steve Austin's heel turn in 2001, while creatively entertaining, led to a lot of bad things for WWE. Now that the beer drinking everyman was on the dark side, business was down as fans had lost hope in their longtime hero. As a result, they stopped buying his merchandise in droves. Perhaps the worst thing to come out of Austin's heel turn was the dreaded what chant. The what chant is the bubble wrap of professional wrestling. Whenever a fragile package is opened in a classroom or a home with small children, then rest assured those kids are going to abuse their privilege of popping those bubbles to the point of insanity. I was one of those kids once upon a time, but f them kids in their bubble wrap. Just like bubble wrap serves as protection for fragile items, I wear protection to make sure I don't ever have to deal with these damn kids in their bubble wrap. And if the what chant is the bubble wrap, some of these pesky fans are the children abusing their privileges. What was supposed to be just another catchphrase for one popular wrestler has turned into a trolling, heckling, mean-spirited gesture from the fans to the frustrated performers for the last 20 years and counting. As a comedian, and a pretty dope one at that, you'll see, I despise hecklers. The what chant is heckler cocaine, and coincidentally, nobody hates that what chant more than WWE. In 2016, WWE released a top 10 list of the most creative fan chants. That's what she said made the list. The what chant did not. The following year, WWE released a playlist of all the times WWE superstars got the better of the what chant. The playlist featured The Rock, Alexa Bliss, Vince McMahon, Sheamus, and R-Truth. In 2019, WWE did a top 10 list of WWE superstars versus the what chant. The list featured The Rock, Alexa Bliss, Vince McMahon, Sheamus, and R-Truth. Okay, so it seems like only a limited number of people have ever really conquered this what chant. Maybe we need a tutorial. More on that later. Even Steve Austin himself admitted he regrets creating the what chant. In an interview with Matt Fowler of IGN in 2011, Austin said, quote, I would have never in a million years went up to Vince and said, hey, I've got this thing I'm gonna do and it's gonna make people say, what? After every pause or break in someone's promo over the next 10 years. All right, we agreed to one what chant, that's enough. Seriously? Okay, we need that tutorial now. Welcome to the what chant tutorial. By the end of this video, you will develop the skill to shut down a what chant at any time, anywhere. There are no less than three methods that have been proven effective against the what chant. The first method is to steamroll them. Change up your cadence so there are less pauses and therefore less chances for crowds to chant what. Let's do an example together. Today I went to Arby's. I ordered the beef and cheddar. Then I ordered a side of curly fries and ate the whole thing in under 10 minutes and it was delicious, let me tell you. Arby's slaps, they don't get enough credit and I was bumping the push at T. McDonald's diss track on the ride home. Success. By talking faster than they can chant, these people had no choice but to shut the f*** up and listen to my story. Method 2 is to trick fans into admitting something negative about themselves. Let's do another example. Yesterday, I had breakfast at Arby's. I understand they don't have a breakfast menu. But there's nothing like a beef and cheddar at 7 in the morning. If you're a stooge who eats Big Macs say, what? Success. I just tricked these hecklers into admitting they're stooges who eat Big Macs. Ba da ba 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 what a bunch of dorks. Our final method is to outright threaten the audience, a technique popularized by Eddie Kingston. 
let's do this final example together. Somebody recently asked me what the best fast food chain was. I told them Popeyes. But the second best chain is Arby's. You people really need to relax with that, what, shit. Steve Austin isn't here and I stay with the Blicky. That's what I thought. Congratulations, you have now completed the What Chant tutorial. By practicing these techniques, you will always be ready to deal with a heckler, provided they don't run on stage and slap the shit out of you. With Stone Cold Steve Austin back in the fold for a WrestleMania match with Kevin Owens, the what chant has never been more alive. Vince McMahon had to battle them at the Hall of Fame like it was 2002. About an hour earlier, Charlotte Flair dealt with them on Friday Night SmackDown. This past Monday night on Raw, Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, Kevin Owens, and others were violated with pesky what chants. Lesnar tried to turn it into a game, while Reigns seemed to go into business for himself by calling out Stone Cold. And while it's easy to blame overzealous fans who do play a part in all this, WWE has to share this blame as well. In 2019, the WWE on Fox Twitter account tweeted, can we stop the what chants? It's no longer 2001, hugs and kisses. Okay, well, as soon as WWE stops living in the past, so are the fans. WrestleMania 38 is trending to be the 11th straight year that a WrestleMania is headlined by at least one part-timer. This year's Night 1 main event is heavily rumored to be a showdown between Kevin Owens and Stone Cold Steve Austin, main eventing WrestleMania just like in 2001. Like a bad case of herpes, the what chant is here to stay forever, and there's no cure. In fact, bringing back Stone Cold Steve Austin is the opposite of the cure for the what chant, and as great as it is to have him back, rest assured this nonsense will continue for the next 20 years and beyond. It's up to WWE to help drag fans out of 2001, and creating a new and current star will go a long way in helping. What's your least favorite chant? You deserve it? This is wrestling? Let me know in the comments.